And the argument I developed in the paper called Tasting the Pickle is that we have a series of meta crises. Not, you know, meta means many different things, um, but we have so many different forms of problem lurking inside our systems and structures. Um, we so much so that sometimes even in our very grammar, for example, we speak about what we have to do, but there is no viable we at a global level. There is no agency there. The language doesn't actually convey what needs to happen. Um, we're not very good at seeing how things interact. Um, culturally, we're struggling to find a new code. Um, arguably, we're, there's a kind of what my friend and colleague Zach Stein calls a catastrophic failure of intergenerational transmission in education. We're not managing to get the sort of cultural inherited knowledge and wisdom from one generation to the next. Um, we are struggling with our very ideologies. Liberalism, arguably, much as we may love it in many ways, and I live through it in many ways. Um, it, you know, climate change happened on liberalism's watch. And um, this is why the line, our underlying mechanisms subvert their own logics. That comes from Rowan Williams. And then a metacrisis in epistemology, we're struggling to know the world adequately. It's, it's not as intelligible as it once was. That's partly to do with um, what Timothy Morton calls hyper objects. The fact that issues like the pandemic and climate collapse, they're not actually intelligible. We don't have what it takes to really make sense of them at scale. Um, and if you look closely and look at the world from a bit more sort of game theory point of view, it would look like we're, we're committing ecocide and we're actually, we're heading towards, we seem to have an underlying generator function as Daniel Schmackenberger puts it, which is suicidal because we have competitive dynamics, exponential technology, and a kind of arms race to possess and control things that's likely to lead to a bad outcome. But meanwhile, we're struggling to make sense of the world. We're disabled by dissonance, that we're unable to make sense and act in a way that works for us. We want to imagine a new world, but arts and humanities funding is constantly cut. Um, we're not encouraged to really rethink the world from first principles. Our, our sense of normality is, is sort of constraining us in that way. And finally, number 10, a weakness for one of two kinds of spiritual bypassing, which is what, what I'm meant to be talking about. 